had this dream. I was giving a cocktail party for Ima Sumac, the Peruvian singer. This is odd. I mean, I adore her singing, but I've never met Ima Sumac. And even in a dream, it seems strange that I should be giving her a party. Anyhow, she and I are in the living room of my apartment on Beekman Place. The doorbell rings, and there to my delight is Ava Gardner. Darling, she says, how wonderful of you to have asked me. Funny, I don't know Ava Gardner either. But in the dream, all of my guests know me very well. Oddly though, none of them seem to know each other. Anyway, Ava Gardner, I say, I'd like you to meet Ima Sumac. Ah, oh, please, says Miss Sumac. Let us not be so formal, por favor. Introduce each guest only by their first name so that we may become, how shall I say, amigos. Fine with me, I say, and introduce the two again. Ava, Ima. The doorbell rings again. The second guest is Abba Iben, the Israeli foreign minister. I make the introductions, and as Miss Sumac asked, I keep things on a first name basis. Abba, Ima, Abba, Ava. I start to grin, but no one else finds anything amusing in what I said. The doorbell. It's Una O'Neill, Charlie Chaplin's wife. I bring her into the room. Una, Ima, Una, Eva, Una, Abba. They're standing in silence, smiling brightly at each other. But nobody's talking very much. The bell again. It's Ugo Betty, the Italian playwright. I introduce him. Ugo, Ima, Ugo, Eva, Ugo, Una, Ugo, Abba. The doorbell rings again. It's Ida Lupino, the actress with Ulu Grossbart, the movie director. Ida and Ulu, surely you know Ima and Eva. Ida, Ulu, Una, Abba. Ida, Ulu, Ugo. Please, let there be no more guests, I whisper to myself. The doorbell rings again, and everyone stands stony-faced as I usher in the new arrival, the Aga Khan. Folks, I guess you all know the Aga Khan. There is a dead silence and I must introduce him. Aga, Ima, Eva, Ida, Ulu, Abba, Ugo. I begin to wish that I'd never given the party. But new guests keep arriving. Two more at the door, Mia Farrow and Gia Scala. Mia, Gia. Ima, Eva, Una. Mia, Gia, Ida, Abba, Ugo, Aga, Ulu. This is a dreadful party. We stand in a circle, glowering at each other. I feel oddly hemmed in, like a woman who's about to be stoned to death. Am I late, says Uta Hagen, the actress, breezing in without ringing the doorbell. Of course not. Please have the common decency to introduce your guests to one another, says Ima Sumac angrily. Okay. Okay, I say. I take a deep breath. Uta, Ima. Uta, Eva. Uta, Una. Uta, Ida. Uta, Gia. Uta, Mia. Uta, Ugo. Uta, Abba. Uta, Aga. Uta, Ulu. I turn to see if this has made Miss Sumac any happier, but she coldly ignores me. I've begun to hate her. The doorbell rings again, and I feel a chill run down my spine. I pretend not to hear it. Answer that, snaps Ima Sumac. My guests move menacingly toward me. With sinking heart, I open the door. And there, standing before me, in top hat, white tie and tails, is none other than you, Doctor. Dr. Wolfgang van Hofmannsthal Franz Ludwig Leopold Huckelberg. I call you by your first names. Come in, Wolfgang van Hofmannsthal Franz Ludwig Leopold. I cry with tears in my eyes. I've never been so glad to see anyone in my whole life. And 
then I woke up.